It will be recalled that about a fortnight ago, residents of Impakadan and Apegusu raised concerns at a press conference over what they described as a blatant disregard of their needs by the contractor undertaking the Tema Impakadan railway project. Pursuant to their demand, officials of the Ghana Railway Development Authority, led by its Corporate Affairs Director, Mamiya Ayinsu Eja, in the company of the Member of Parliament for Esujaman, Thomas Ampim Nyako, taught the community and also interacted with the residents whose houses and livelihoods had been affected. Indeed, over 102 residents in Impakadan alone are said to have had their properties affected with visible cracks on their structures. In speaking to City News, some residents whose properties have been affected say they expect the authorities to come to their aid since they have been rendered homeless. When it comes to my place, um, there are some stones even uh, came to my place and destroyed my zinc and the things over there. And at the same time, we are having challenges about um, if they do the blasting, there are some uh, dust and even we can't control it. Even sometimes we and they would tell us to go to uh, this thing, uh, the, uh, the, the park, to wait. Even to, sometimes we move from the house two o'clock and we'll be there up to seven o'clock before they do the blasting. And nobody will tell us anything. We'll just be there up to in the night before they did the blasting, before we'll be in the house. At the community engagement session, the residents accused a subcontractor, ADV Infrastructure and Logistics Limited, of blatantly disregarding the Minerals and Mining Regulation LI-2177-2012, which stipulates procedures that must be followed prior to the blasting. Some members of a local working committee set up to liaise between the contractor, residents and Greda said to City News in an interview that they needed an undertaking from the contractor as an assurance that damaged structures would be rebuilt after the project. Even just three months, almost everything in their rooms are damaged. They don't have beds, their mattresses are all spoiled, buckets, beds. Um, TVs, radios, everything is almost condemned. And you rent a place for them to go and sleep on the bare floor. So our concerns are that when we can't stop the job in any way, but when they decide to rent a place for them, at least they should get them certain simple things for them to be able to make them comfortable to live in wherever they are. We need a written document undertaking or a, a, a binding document with the community and the contractor so that at least that will give us some relief that when the work is done you are going to put the structures uh, affected into good shape. In a bid to ensure a cordial working relationship between the contractor and residents, officials of Greta took turns to educate residents on some statutory regulations that ought to be followed by the contractor and tasked the local working committee to ensure compliance by the contractor. In speaking to City News, the Corporate Affairs Director of Greda, Mameya Ayinsueja, stated that the impasse between the contractor and the residents could have been avoided if residents had addressed their concerns to Greda instead of resorting to the media. Once the blasting is done totally um, and they've done the assessment, every house, I think that I'll have to give you the document, there's been an undertaking from the contractor that's doing the blasting. Every house that has been hit by by anything roof or um the uh, structure being damaged we will make sure that we put it back or even a better state than than it was it was it was um found on his part the mp for sujaman thomas ampim nyako said lack of clear communication from the contractor to residents could be blamed for the impasse the company has not been able to communicate clearly to the people to understand the processes and all that they should expect. And so coming out of this meeting, I think we've had a very fruitful discussion and um, we will follow through. Uh, we've all agreed that a committee uh, must be set up immediately and they should start work. The committee have already nominated some of their leaders. The company doing the blasting will add their reps and the district assembly will also have to send a representative. They will go around and inspect the damages 
and then agree on a list so that we ask the company to to restore those properties that are, have been damaged or that are being damaged because of the blasting that is taking place.